I put out a poll recently on my channel asking viewers what their favorite kind of watch was, and the results weren't even close. Dive watches got more than twice as many votes as any other option on the list. And so today we're gonna to talk about dive watches. We're gonna talk about why they're so popular, what exactly a dive watch is, and look at a few affordable options for good dive watches to purchase. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Just The Watch. My name's Dave, I live in Japan, and I love to collect affordable watches. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the most popular types of watches out there in the dive watch. Now dive watches are very rugged, obviously they have a high water resistance rating, and they have a, just a classic look that really goes well with a lot of different styles of clothes and outfits and things. And one of the benefits of running a channel about watches is that I've had the opportunity to review a lot of different watches and a lot of dive watches because those are probably the most common watches that get sent in. Now you may have noticed the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this video. That's because some of the watches you're gonna see as we go through this review are ones that I received in the past for free in order to do the review. However, none of the brands that sent in watches had any idea that I was gonna feature their watches in this particular video, and they obviously didn't have any input into the content of this video. So today I wanna to show you guys some of my favorite dive watches as we go through this, and maybe answer some of the most common questions that people might have about dive watches. If you have been wondering if a dive watch is right for you, or if you're looking to try and figure out what a good dive watch would be, I think this video will be very helpful for you. So let's take a look at dive watches. Modern dive watches trace their roots back to the early 1950s when recreational scuba diving was becoming more of a popular pastime. These watches were packed with an array of features specially meant to keep scuba divers safe in the water. Obviously, these watches were waterproof, but they also contained timing bezels allowing divers to time their decompression stops, as well as having luminous hands and markers so that the watch could be seen in the dark depths of the ocean. But this style of watch with that array of features proved to be a very popular watch design that soon gained widespread use among non-divers as well. A true modern dive watch is generally expected to have a specific set of features. Typically that includes a water resistance rating of at least 100 meters. However, many would argue that 200 is the bare minimum. Dive watches should also have a unidirectional timing bezel. The bezel is that ring that goes around the outside of the watch and it can be rotated only in one direction, which is counterclockwise. When you rotate the bezel to line the pip up with the minute hand, it will begin tracking how much time has elapsed since you did that. Historically, divers use this function to time the length of their dives, and by having a unidirectional bezel, if the bezel is accidentally moved unknowingly, it can only move in a direction that will show that more time has elapsed than actually has. Which means that the worst case scenario is that the diver winds up ending his dive a little earlier than usual instead of a little bit late. Dive watches must also have loomed hands, markers, and a loomed pip on the bezel. This allows all the necessary functions of the watch to be read in the dark, and a dive watch should also have a loomed second hand. The reason being that divers need to have an assurance that their watch is functioning. So if they're able to see the second hand moving, they know that the battery hasn't gone out on the watch or that the movement hasn't broken and they can trust the accuracy of their watch. Additionally, a watch manufacturer can put their watch through a certification process, which will measure it against the ISO dive watch standard, allowing the watch to become a certified diver's watch. These watches typically will have the word divers written on the dial which basically means that it has been tested and certified to function at the depth stated. So a 200 meter divers rating means that you can dive down 200 meters deep, which is very deep. And perhaps somewhat surprisingly, that means that if a watch does not have a divers rating, then it won't necessarily function at the specified depth. Typically for a non-divers rated watch, 30 meters means that it's just splash proof. 50 meters means that you can do some light swimming. 100 meters is generally okay for water sports and snorkeling and 200 meters and above is the bare minimum for scuba diving. And while all of that is fascinating, the vast majority of people who wear dive watches these days never take them diving. Dive watches are popular because that list of features is actually incredibly useful. It's great to have a watch so you don't have to worry about getting wet. Being able to time things is incredibly useful and guys love things that glow in the dark. Dive watches also look cool. There's a huge variety of designs that can be incredibly versatile. 
They range from bulky purpose-built tool watches to more elegant styles that can be easily worn with a suit and tie. The quintessential luxury dive watch has to be the Rolex Submariner, which is quite possibly the most popular and influential watch in the world. Unfortunately, these watches are very expensive and very difficult to find. However, there are a ton of awesome affordable dive watches out there. If you're looking for a dive watch that's more of a rugged, functional tool watch, my favorite is the Seiko Samurai. Starting at around $350, you can pick up a watch that has a certified 200 meters divers rating. And Seiko is one of the few brands that is making certified dive watches in this price range. The Samurai also features a unique angular case style, knurled bezel and crown, and a very sharp handset. It's a classic but original design from Seiko. And this is a watch that will be able to take a beating and last for many, many years. The only thing I don't like about it is that it features a Hardlex crystal rather than a Sapphire crystal, which means that in your years of ownership with the watch, you're probably gonna put some scratches onto the glass. This is also very much a tool watch and so probably not as suited for wearing with business attire or a suit. It's much more of a casual watch and lacks some of the versatility that you would find from the so-called dress divers or desk divers. And if you are interested in a dive watch that is more elegant and versatile that you can wear with a suit or to the beach. My current favorite in that category is the Orient Baby Triton. It features some nice polished accents, a coin edged bezel, and a very elegant looking handset. And most color options come standard with a stainless steel bracelet that matches the aesthetics of the watch very well. And again, allows you to dress it up or down depending on what you wanna wear it with. It's a great looking watch that also features a pretty amazing price. You can pick it up for around $250 and this one does include a sapphire crystal. So it's a great value to be able to pick up this watch from a reputable Japanese manufacturer like Orient at this price. There's also a ton of great options from micro brands. However, a lot of those can be kind of difficult to track down with certain brands selling out very quickly. But two that I really like that are readily available for purchase would be the SWC Diver and the RZE Endeavor. The SWC Diver is a Swiss made dive watch that has a Salida SW200 automatic movement. It features absolutely gorgeous finishing and the highest quality components and materials. It's one of the most value packed dive watches that I've seen. You can get it for about $500. The Endeavor from RZE is a titanium dive watch, it features a Seiko NH35 automatic movement and it's probably the most comfortable dive watch on a metal bracelet that I've ever worn. The titanium construction makes it incredibly lightweight and it's very well balanced with an interesting kind of industrial looking design and a lot of bright, fun dial color options. So those are some of my favorite affordable dive watches. Let me know what you guys like down below. Drop me a comment. I always love to hear from you. Me personally, I lean towards pilot's watches and field watches, but there's also dress watches, digital watches, chronograph watches, GMT watches, sports watches, just so many different watches out there. I'd kind of like to make this a series where I go through and look at one watch at a time uh, and sort of look at some value options, look at their history, look at what defines them. Uh, so if you're interested in videos like that, definitely encourage you to subscribe because I'm hoping to do more of these ones in the future. Also, if you're looking for some cool watch-themed hoodies, t-shirts, or apparel, you can check out my website at justthewatch.com. I have a lot of original designs there. Really appreciate it if you check it out, help support the channel. That will wrap it up for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.